Hi everybody, we're in uh, Galveston, down by the Gulf of Mexico, and actually we're sort of in a town called Jamaica Beach, which is uh, really good. I'm uh, holding the mic in my hand because it's pretty windy out right now. It's kind of cloudy. Uh, it's about 75 degrees, so it's pretty nice. Um, and I'm here, we're in a RV park, so you may see people walking by and and everything, but we'll we'll be fine. Um, so I want to. Um, it, a lot of the psalms have a lot to do with Jesus, and they, remember that's what we're about here, as we're talking about Jesus and the um, how he is in the Old Testament. This one is definitely true. This comes from Psalm 16, and I'm going to read it for you, and then we're going to go to Acts, where Peter uses this psalm word for word describing Jesus, and especially the fact that death could not keep Jesus down. And this is important for us because it reminds us that death can't keep us down either because of Jesus Christ. So it goes like this, verse 8 of, cha of chapter 16, of Psalm 16. It goes like this, uh, I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. No wonder my heart is glad and I rejoice my body rests in safety for you will not leave my soul among the dead or your holy one to rot in the grave you will show me the way of life granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever well that really describes Jesus and what happened to Jesus and so I want to go to Acts chapter 2, starting at verse 22. And this is Peter giving a sermon to some people, and he uses this psalm in the text. It says, uh, chapter 2, verse 22, he says, People of Israel, listen. God publicly endorsed Jesus the Nazarene by doing powerful miracles, wonders, and signs through him, as you well know. But God knew what would happen. And his prearranged plan was carried out when Jesus was betrayed. With the help of lawless Gentiles, you nailed him to the cross and killed him. But God released him from the horrors of death and raised him back to life. For death could not keep him in his grip. King David said this about him. This is Now he's going to quote the psalm that we just read. He says, I see that the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. No wonder my heart is glad and my tongue shouts his praise. My body rests in hope. For you will not leave my soul among the dead or allow your Holy One to rot in the grave. You have shown me the way of life, and you will fill me with the joy of your presence. There's the direct quote. And uh, this is talking about Jesus in the tomb and his resurrection which you know Easter just happened but it also is helpful for us because it shows us the way that we too will not stay in the grave but God will raise us up on the last day just as he did with Jesus that's the promise that's the hope that he will raise our bodies as he raised Jesus body and that's a very hopeful thing to remember this day well, I hope you're all doing well God bless and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.